Oh, cool! Hey guys, check this out! Ew! Get that away from me, Manny! Sweet! What is it? Oh, quickly everyone, let's gather around that ash tree. Does anyone know what this is? Well, let's take a closer look then. This little bug is called an emerald ash borer beetle, or EAB for short. Cool! I've never seen one in flight before, so this is a rare moment. Wow, it's actually very pretty. It is beautiful, but don't let that fool you, Michelle. These little beetles are killing ash trees by the millions. Really? That's not cool. No, it's not, Manny. What's it doing? Well, when the weather gets warm, a female will begin searching for cracks in the tree's bark where she will lay her eggs. So she lays her eggs right in the bark? That's right, Victor. How many eggs does she lay? Well, she only lays one egg at a time, but she could lay up to 100 total eggs during her lifetime. Wow, that's a lot of eggs. It sure is. Through the summer months, this egg, and all other EAB eggs, starts to hatch and a larva emerges. Then this little guy starts chewing into the bark of the ash tree. Protected and out of sight, the larva begins to feed on the tree and grow larger. So, it's actually eating the tree? That's right. This is what does the most damage to an ash tree. As a larva eats, it leaves an S-shaped trail inside the tree. And when there are a lot of these larvae eating the same tree, they can seriously damage or even kill it. Ouch! Throughout the fall and winter, the larva continues to feed and develop. When the larva is full grown, it starts to chew deeper into the wood, creating a cozy chamber. Yikes! Does it stay under the bark forever? No, it doesn't. In the chamber, the larva starts to change shape, becoming shorter and wider. Now we call it a pupa. The pupa eventually becomes an adult EAB, and it chews an exit hole that looks like a capital D to finally escape from the tree. Wait, what's a pupa again? That just means it continues to grow up until it finally becomes a full-grown adult emerald ash borer beetle. Okay, got it. So what happens next? Well, once an adult EAB gets out of the tree, it flies up into the tree's canopy where it starts eating the leaves. Wait, first it eats the tree's insides. Now it's eating the tree's outsides? Yep. But they do the most damage when they're eating the tree's insides. And since they spend their time living and growing under the tree's bark, you can't even tell that they're there. It's amazing that all this could be happening right now to any of these trees, and we wouldn't even know it. That brings up another good point. EAB larvae can be hidden inside both living trees and trees that have been cut down and used for firewood. So you could actually help spread the EAB by moving firewood from one location to another and not even know it. So what can we do to help then? Well, the best way you can help protect ash trees in your neighborhoods and forests is by reminding your parents to promise not to move firewood. Ask them to burn it where they buy it. By doing this, you can help stop the EABs from spreading to new healthy ash trees. Because if we move firewood that has an EAB living in it to a new location, it could harm a whole new group of ash trees. Right. Just remember, burn it where you buy it. Burn it where you buy it! Burn it where you buy it! Burn it where you buy it! Good job today, everyone. Let's start heading back.